Hello everyone, I'm Jerry Roman and welcome to my channel. The Weekend Recap is one of my favorite videos to do and that's because there are a lot of YouTubers that talk stocks but they never put their money where their mouth is. This last week I bought over $50,890 in stocks and today I'll share five of those stocks with you. Last week the S&P 500 had one of the best weeks in months and it was up 4.7% and my share of Roth IRA portfolio was up $8,584 or 7.67% to $120,000. $1,559. I've had this portfolio for five months and it is now up 83%. And if you think it is too late to model it, you're dead wrong. Year to date, it is already up $18,199. And the best part is I'm taking this portfolio from $66,000 to $2.6 million tax-free dollars and you can join me on this journey. I really hope you appreciate my transparency and if my channel has helped you in any way, be sure to like and subscribe. Let's start by sharing a few success stories. In my Discord, we have a channel where people post their winning trades and most are coming from hot stocks. The funny part is it has evolved to be very short posts because they are so common. Armin had a 41% profit from DQ. Kermit had a 21% profit in one day from Snap. This person had a 22% profit on UUU from Hot Stocks and said, I wish I bought more. Still new and learning. Reeks Havoc pulled a quick 15.39% profit on energy fuels and then picked up a 22% profit in two days. We see these profits every day and you can do it too. My YouTube videos are just the tip of the iceberg and if you'd like to receive my daily Hot Stocks trade alert stock portfolios to model and the famous beast mode spreadsheet join my patreon we're helping a lot of people to make more money than they ever thought possible so grab a huge cup of coffee and hang on because this is not your normal stock channel We had a lot of home runs this week and my favorite one is Beam, which I bought yesterday off the hot stocks list. After I bought Beam, I sent a trade alert to patrons and Beam really continued to run. I'm already up 8% on that trade and so are a lot of others in our group. Every once in a while, someone will say, you're just pumping and dumping a stock. Beam Therapeutics has a market cap of $6.6 .6 billion and if you think I have the power to move this type of stock, then you're dead wrong, although I wish you were right. Beam is the first stock I'm covering today and we'll get to that in just a minute. The last two weeks, I've been working on dialing in a few new tech technical buy signals and damn, they are on fire. I'll share two of them today and based on the promising results, I'm going to start sharing more buy signals to the group. All right, we're now looking at the Beast Mode stock analysis scorecard and the charts, and Beam Therapeutics is a biotechnology company that has been on fire. Their current price is $116.16. Their 52-week price range is $13 to $123. Their PE ratio is negative 50.3, so they're not making any money yet. Their year-to-date stock gain, they're already up 42% this year, 20% this week, and over the last three months, they're up 222%, and over the last year, they're up 5 120%. So this is a growth stock that is on fire. Their tattle ratio is 3.56. Their revenue growth last year was up 100% and the revenue growth forecast is going to be down negative 33% for the next year. That's what's forecast. Their net income and levered free cash flow are very negative and being a little negative is okay for a growth stock. This is really negative. And my cost basis on this one, I was able to buy it at 107.88 and I just bought this yesterday. So I've only been in this play for a few hours and I'm already up 8%. Current price is 116.16. So when you look at the fundamentals on this, it is not good for this stock. However, this stock has had a massive run up and we can play it on the technicals based on the charts and that's exactly what I did here. So if we look at the chart, this blue line is the 20 day moving average. The red is the 50 day moving average. And down here we've got the MACD and this is a great indicator and it's just now crossing over. So that's a good plus for a buy signal as well. Now you can see exactly where I bought this. I bought 20 28 shares at 107.88 and you can see I've got a trail stop set at 15% and I set it at 15% because that's going to bring us right down here to the bottom of the support level and literally right after I bought this stock, boom, it shot straight up and based on all of the technicals that I'm looking at, and I go a little deeper on my big pages of the charts, this one is set to run. So I'm really excited about this and the best part was I was able to share this with the group as a trade alert and a lot of other people did their quick due diligence on it as well and jumped right on in. Our next stock is Seed Limited, ticker SE, and this is a digital entertainment platform that operates worldwide. Their current price is $256.76. Their 52-week price range is $36 to $259. Their PE ratio is negative 95.2, so that means I treat it as a growth stock because it has a negative PE ratio. Their year-to-date stock gain is really nice at 29%. Over one week, they're up 18%. 
three months, they're up 37%, and over one year, they're up 462%. Their tattle ratio is pretty good at 1.12. I prefer to see that at two or higher, but that's not too bad. They're still growing. The revenue growth last year was 113%. Nice. And the revenue growth forecast for the next year is another 95.7%. Their net income margin is negative, which is to be expected. And a pleasant surprise, their levered free cash flow is 2.3%. And my cost basis on this is $239.24, and it's already trading at 256.76, so this is a real nice position for me. Let's take a look at the chart. You can see we've got a real nice upward channel. This is what we call the railroad tracks, and anytime you see that going up, that's a good sign, simple way to recognize an upward channel. Stocks commonly trade right on that 20-day moving average, so they go up. This was a little too much too fast, comes back down to reality, and it keeps right on going. And what do we have here? It went up too much too fast, it came down, broke through the 20-day moving average, bounced off that 50-day moving average, and then it kept right on going up and whenever it broke past the previous high, that was a good buy signal that this could go on to a breakout. I picked up this stock and boom, the breakout is happening. Everything is looking good and we also had a recent MACD cross. Our third stock is Freeport McMoran, and this is a mining company that's involved in just about everything. They're in silver, copper, gold, all kinds of other metals. They're also in gas and oil. So if it has anything to do with mining, these guys pretty much do it. Their current price is $31.73. Their 52-week price range is $5 to $32. Their estimated intrinsic value is $33.74, so you can currently buy it below the intrinsic value. Their PE ratio is 77, so this means they are making money, and since that PE ratio ratio is under 100, I treat this as a fundamental stock. Their year-to-date gain is 22%. In one week, they're up 18%. Three months, 66%. And over one year, they're up 158%. Their tattle ratio is 1.8, so that's very strong. And that just means that they have more assets than liabilities. Their revenue growth last year, they were down just a little at 1.4%, but that's understandable with a pandemic. And the revenue growth forecast for the next year is an increase of 34%. And a 34% revenue growth on a company with a P.E. ratio of 77 that's established, that's a good revenue growth. So I like that. Their net income margin is 4.2%. Their levered free cash flow is 7.4%. And my cost basis on this stock is $29.65. If we look at the chart, same story, beautiful upward trend. It went up, bounced off the 50-day moving average last week on a little micro crash, and now it's shooting right back up again and looking really strong. You can see I bought 17 shares at $29.65. I have a trail stop set at 10%, and I'm already making money on this. It's looking great. It's got a previous high of 32.48 and that's our next level of resistance and if it closes above 32.50 that's going to be a very bullish sign and if that happens I expect it to go on a real nice run up. The next two stocks are new buy signals that I'm working and dialing in and so far they are looking great. This one is SLM Corporation ticker SLM and the current price is 15.34. The 52 week price range is 6 to 15 dollars. It's currently below both the intrinsic value and the analyst target mean price. The P.E. ratio is only 6.6, .6, so this is definitely a fundamental stock. Year-to-date, they're up 24%. In the last week, 11%. In the last three months, 54%. In the last year, 38%. Their revenue growth last year was 30.4%. It's forecast to go down 20.3%. Their net income margin, though, is phenomenal at 51.3%, and their levered free cash flow is negative 8.6%. My cost basis on this is $13.88, and remember, I just got into it this week, and the price Price is already at 15.34, so I'm up over 10%. Same story here. We've got beautiful railroad tracks. We've got a recent MACD crossover, and you can see I've got a trail stop set on it at 10%. And I got in way down here, and it's already up and continuing to climb. It's currently on a breakout. Our fifth stock is Five Star Senior Living, and just like the name implies, they invest in senior communities across the U.S. You might see I'm investing in my future since I'm getting on in years. All right, the ticker symbol is FBE. The current price is $8.66. The estimated intrinsic value is just a little lower than the current price. Analysts have it going a little higher. Their P.E. ratio is 48.7, so they're definitely making money as a strong fundamental company. Year to date, they're up 26%. In the last week, 20%. Over three months, 91%. Impressive. And over one year, they're up 89%. The revenue growth was down last year, 60.8%. Should be up this year, 6.1%. Net income margin is really skinny at 1.3%. Levered free cash flow is 5%. And my cost basis is 784. It's currently trading at 866. So I got a nice 10% gain on this already as well. This is a technical trade on one of the new signals that I'm working on, working like a charm. I got in, it's currently breaking out. Looks like it closed over the previous high. So that's a plus and it should continue to run. 
I've got a 10% trail stop on it. I'll tighten that stop as it runs up. So when it backs down, I'll simply take my profits and move on. And this is a nice quick technical trade and an easy way to make profits. That being said, it could run for a long time. If we take a look at the MACD indicator here, we had a crossover somewhere down here and look what happened to the stock. It went up beautifully. The MACD crossed and it went down. So this was a real nice run up from what, $5 all the way up to looks like about $8.50. And right now we've got the start of a new run up here. How long will it run? Nobody knows. But if it does another similar run, I'll take those profits all day long. Our question of the day is, I cannot buy some of your recommendations like TCNNF because my broker will not allow it. What do I do? Most of the time when this happens, it is because the stock is an over-the-counter or what we commonly call an OTC stock. This means the stock is not listed on the main exchanges and they normally have market capitalizations under $300 million and are generally considered riskier stocks. To buy these, you'll want to use a brokerage that allows OTC stocks like Schwab or TD Ameritrade. Is it worth it? Well, I own several OTC stocks and just my TCNNF position is up 61%. I make a lot of money on OTC stocks, so you know that I'm a believer. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and if you want to receive my daily hot stocks trade alerts and follow my high growth portfolios, join me on Patreon. And to close out, here are a few pictures from Lima, Peru, and my mountain off-roading with locals. Peace, and I'll see you soon.